So we were running a time management uh, workshop just last week and actually one of my colleagues uh, was reminding us really as to what happened in our lives before we left school and what happened afterwards. And he kind of related this to, uh, you know, time management. So let, let me go with, go with me. What he said was, if you think about it, when we entered the school system, pretty much from a very early age of whatever that was, four or five years old, right up until the time at which we left our, uh, at 60 at school, let's say, so what's that, 17, 18, um, we were effectively conditioned into uh, doing things by the bell. So what I mean by that is, you know, when we, the school bell would ring, we'd go into registration, we'd do registration for 10 minutes and then the school bell would ring again, then we were off to the first subject, it was French. We had 45 minutes of French, then the school bell went, then we moved to maths, 45 minutes of maths, then the school bell went, <clears throat> then we went to English, for 45 minutes, school bell goes, and so on and so forth. So the reality is, our whole life was governed by the school bell. And then we get to the end of the year, we do the exams, we pass the tests, we get the grades. Um, so, you know, and that, that compounds over time, you, get, you, then, uh, you then get the qualifications you need and off you go. And you, you, you learn stuff, you learn an awful lot. You learn all the subjects uh, that we cover at school. And then we leave school and then we don't have that structure. We don't have the structure and we just go into our lives. And, and without that structure, we tend to lose a little bit of the discipline that really grounded us well in those formative years. So what then happens is we come up with excuses like, oh, I didn't have time to do that thing, the thing that was important but never got around to. And, and what happens, you know, you then, you then fast forward over the years and you just never really found the time. But if you look back at, at your school days, you, you, you can't have that excuse. It's not like you can say, I never had the time to learn maths. You had the time because it was put in the diary. You learnt maths, you got the result at the end of it. So, so but, but now we kind of get into adulthood and we come up with all the, the excuses, as opposed to saying, look, what's the thing I'm shooting for? What, what are my big priorities that I'm working towards? And what, what, would the, what would the school bell structure need to look like in my diary so that I am making sure that I have the time to do the things that over the course of time I'll learn my skill set, my mindset, so that I achieve the ultimate goal that I've set myself. So again, it was just a good perspective that was shared. You know, what's the structure that we now need to put into our adult lives that will help us on our journey? Because school, um, and again, I've, I've got various opinions on school, but actually if you look at it from that perspective, um, some really good disciplines and structure. So again, what does that look like in your diary as an adult? Anyway, there we go. Hope that's been helpful and uh, of course get in touch if you want to talk a little bit more about personal effectiveness, time management. All the best.